Welcome to a quick video on the 1132 cassette. So <laughs> I changed my mind. I didn't get the 1134, which I was going to get in my other video, um, because it was just too much half hassle. But anyway, so I got 1132. Um, so you can see it here. It's so big. I actually love this. It's like very sparkly as well. It's very clean. Um, <laughs> could you eat your dinner off this? I probably would now, but not in like a thousand K's time. Um, but anyway, I was going through it. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but anyway, I was going through. And it has all the little teeth, so you can see it says like 32, 28, 25, 22, 18, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11. And so those are all the little teeth. Um, and basically I was thinking, is this actually appropriate to the average amateur? So for a professional writer, they probably spend a decent amount of time in the 11, 12, 13. So they want really like crisp gear changes, but they also want like good cadence so they're not going from like 90 cadence at one cadence and one similar speed and then they want to change down a gear and suddenly it's completely different cadence but for the average punter like myself well I'm not using the 11 that much but it's quite nice to have it just in case I prefer maybe to have like 11 13 14 15 16 because so basically change the 12 for a 15 because in reality I spend a lot of the time in these two sort of the 14 15 16 18 so when I had a 28, you basically get rid of that, and I think you put a 15 there. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, so I was thinking, and someone else commented this, which I thought was very, very uh, an astute comment, is that although you might have a bigger gear ratio, often the gears, the actual like gears you get on the cassette, are still not for amateurs. Because if you think about it, the amateur might want the 11, but they actually spend most of their time here. And also, maybe they don't want a massive jump from a 28 to a 32, because that's actually quite a big gear change. I mean, it's like, obviously, when you get further down the cassette, the percentage-wise is less. So the difference between 11 and 12 is quite big, obviously, because it's like one, it's only one tooth, but obviously it's a lot bigger because the, we're talking about smaller numbers. But obviously the 28 to the 32 is a uh, four teeth, but obviously the teeth are bigger. So it's less important. But anyway, so what are your thoughts? Do you think we should have like amateur cassettes and pro cassettes so you could basically change your gear ratio on the 1132 i feel like that's going to be hard because manufacturers are moving more and more to like the one piece so you can see at the moment like this is a one piece the can you see that's one piece so i feel like that's going to get harder and harder to do because in order to get it lighter it's easier if they machine it into one piece but obviously that means less customization so some people were saying what about like a I don't know, a 1432, but like trying to make a 1432 is very hard because you can't just swap teeth to teeth. It has, like works as a system altogether. So anyway, leave your comments below. Do you think um do you think we should have amateur and pro cassettes? Uh, so the pro cassette would have very good gears at the lower end, so the 11, 12, 13, and maybe less good gears. So maybe it wouldn't even have the 28, maybe it would have a 27 or something, and then a 32 for like a massive bailout gear. Um, and then for the amateur, it would maybe have not very much gearing at this end, so it would have the 11, but it wouldn't have maybe the, it might go 13, 15 or something instead of having all the other gears. And then you have 15, 16, 17, 18, or whatever, all in a row. So then you could have nice gear changes there. What do you think? Leave your comments. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.